Welcome to this Imagine It Technologies Smackdown. Today we're going to be talking about Revit Server and collaboration for Revit. We both need to set up a collaborative environment to share Revit model data and synchronize changes in a real-time fashion. For sure. And you know, the need to change and share all models with each other has never been greater than it is today. We've got a few options to look at before we make a decision. Yeah, the two of us are debating whether to use Autodesk's Revit Server or Autodesk 360 Collaboration for Revit. Now, in looking at them, both tools behave in very similar ways. The central file gets stored on a host server. The host server then synchronizes the changes with a local computer called an accelerator, and users then connect to that synchronized local copy of the central file. That's right, and the main difference is where that host server is located. In the, in the Revit server environment, your company provides the hardware, and you'll need to act as both the host and accelerator roles. Your users connect to the local accelerator server to get access to the local copy of the central model. With collaboration for Revit, Autodesk's servers act as the host, and each user acts as its own accelerator. Each connected user receives all those different synchronized changes. So there's some things that are, that are similar for us, right? Definitely. Definitely. The core concept behind the products is, this, is essentially the same. It's just how it's deployed. Now, I've decided to use Revit Server. It's a free addition to Autodesk's Revit platform. Um, so I already own it because I own Revit. Uh, this will allow me to share my files without an additional software cost to my company. Collaboration for Revit seems promising, but it has a cost per user that we aren't ready to take on. Well, that's true, but while it's also true that Revit Server is free, you've got to consider the IT and hardware costs involved with the setup of Revit Server. You've got to get a server, maybe multiple servers in place, to run the product. It means that you'll also need, perhaps, to have some additional Windows Server licenses. You know, we got hardware and software costs that are kind of sitting behind the scenes there that you've got to think about. And as a small organization, I don't have a dedicated IT staff or resources available to set up and maintain that environment. In collaboration for Revit, which I'm choosing on, all the IT work's done by Autodesk. The hosting, the setup, the configuration, it's all done by them. Our files are going to be uploaded, stored, and accessed from a cloud-based location. Oh, so that, that makes me a little bit worried. I'm, I'm a bit fearful of the, the cloud and the safety of my files. Oh, come on, man. How many, stuff, how many things do you have up on the cloud right now? Your email is up on the cloud. You know, Hotmail, Gmail, Yahoo Mail. You've got it all up in the cloud already. Your banking is probably done on the cloud. Cloud's there. It's not a big deal anymore. You know, you're right. I really should get over my fear of the cloud. But I also have a few specific customers that I'm not really supposed to talk about who won't allow me to host my files anywhere outside of my network. That was a big point why I had to consider Revit Server over C4R. Okay, you've got me there. There's, there's not much I can do about that one. There's no real, real way around that with collaboration for Revit. Yeah. Also, since my hardware is hosting the files, it's on my equipment, I have quick and easy access to the project files, you know, should the worst happen. Uh, the network goes down, we lose connectivity, uh, the internet's down. Uh, we can simply log into my, our own servers... Uh, the local host or the local accelerator server, detach a copy, and we're back working. Well, that's fine, but I've got local copies too. It's not just you. I've got them on, on my computer. It took me a while to find them, and they weren't named the same as the Collaboration for Revit website or inside the Revit menus, but I've got them too. Um, in my world, I needed to choose Collaboration for Revit over Revit server, because I'm working with outside consultants. Heck, I've got a project up and coming with you coming around. And I, my understanding, you know, correct me if I'm wrong here, but Revit Server doesn't have any control over who gets to see which projects I've got there. And there's this client that I'm working with that I can't name that, dude, you are so not getting into his files. <laughs> yes, that actually is a big concern to using a Revit Server network between different companies. Um, if you do allow someone to access the Revit server, they get to see all of the projects that are on there. Um, if I wanted to separate out multiple projects between multiple consultants, I would have to set up multiple Revit server networks, which is a bit of a bummer. Uh, one ma main reason I elected to use Revit server is because my collaboration needs for my company 
only requires me to, to work on my company's internal servers. Yeah, that's that sounds like, to me, a bit of an IT nightmare. Splitting apart different servers for each project. I mean, with Collaboration for Revit, I've just got this one web page, and I manage all my projects, and even have project-based controls over who gets to see what. Well, I don't have any tools like that with the default Revit server admin tools. Uh, however, using a third-party tool, such as Imagine Technologies Clarity Connect product, I can do all of that server and project management work in a simple web page as well. That's fine. I mean, I guess at some point in time we might take a look and compare the two or do something there, but if you're looking at my page, it's a nice, easy hub to get to. I don't have to worry about you know, who has access to what, because like I said, I've got people setting up and getting the, the controls over that. I get to browse over to places to see details about a file, and I can get this to people that are working on my project, and I don't have to pay for that. So when you're talking about the costs and things involved, this viewing mode that we've got through here, being able to view what I need to in a sheet, to be able to view what I need to back in a 3D view of a model, whatever's on through there, I get to do that at none of that extra cost. I've got an instant message client working inside Revit so we can chat back and forth as we're working through this process. There's a lot of different tools that I've got through here because this is starting to come through a web page that I don't have in, in any other way for me. Yeah, Revit server doesn't really have any of that stuff. But as an internal tool, I really don't need them. Now, don't get me wrong. Some of those tools sound very nice to have, but I think our internal communication tools should work just fine. Uh, let's actually take a couple steps back and talk about price one more time. Uh, doesn't Collaboration for Revit have a regular fee per user over a period of time? Aren't you always buying more time uh, as, as projects continue to go on? Well, sure, yeah. I mean, Collaboration for Revit does have a cost. It's it's a charged service to be able to use the tools in that Revit interface, but the cost varies depending on what kind of user you are. So it'll, there's, there's a fee and then there's those free things. And it really depends on what you need to do with the system. I mean, I can get it as little as just one month at a time. I can go a year at a time. It just depends on what I need for my project. So the cost, yeah, it's there, but it's totally worth it to us. Because if if you flip it back the other way, remember, I didn't have to purchase any server hardware. I don't have to get any Windows licensing. Since the service is being hosted by Autodesk, I don't need a large staff of IT professionals to maintain, manage the system. You know, have you considered that part? Uh, yeah, and that was a big part of our consideration, the hardware server implications. We decided to utilize some existing servers, and our, TT, our IT team has been hard at work with the setup of these systems for use, and I, I know not a lot of people have existing systems or uh, an IT staff to, to rely on for things like this, so th there are these implications that you do need to consider. Um, you know, I'm glad we were able to have this discussion, Joe. I feel like both options are a valid choice. Uh, but my organization's current need still is leaning me to choosing Revit Server for what we need to do with our collaboration. Uh, in addition, pairing Revit Server with Imagine at Clarity Connect gets us all the security settings we would need if we want to bring in our outside consultants. Plus, we're using Clarity to automate many of our tasks, like exporting PDFs, Navisworks models. It's pretty cool stuff. I'll agree. The conversation's been good. I've got a better understanding of how both tools work, you know, the good and bad things about each of them. But I'll tell you what, you're still wrong. I'm feeling more comfortable with my decision to use Collaboration for Revit. At some point in time, I might be interested in that whole Clarity Connect product. But, you know, hey, I've got Collaboration for Revit, and it sounds like Clarity Connect is only working on your local server there. So I'm, I'm kind of out of luck. Or, or am I? Uh, no, actually, uh, Clarity can automate tasks on any type of Revit project, whether it's on Revit server, on collaboration for Revit, or just a local network drive. Um, it's saved us many hours of project work. Okay. I, I guess I will have to look into that. You know, I'll have to reach out and find your point of contact or something to, to get a little bit more for that. that I guess that'll be the, the one point I will concede in this whole mess. <laughs> Everybody, <laughs> thanks enough. for taking the time to watch this SmackDown. If you've got questions regarding which product's right for you, if you align yourself with Brian, if you align yourself with me, or, or somewhere in between, get in touch with your local Imagine it Technologies account manager and continue this discussion with our team. Yeah, 
be sure to visit us at imagineit.com. And for more information about Clarity, it can be found at imagineit.com forward slash Clarity. Thanks again for watching. Thanks, everybody.